Hey y'all, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I saw th something funny, funny like sad, not, but just absolutely, it's going over the top with some people, and I'm really not too sure why these people have the jobs and the positions that they have, but it is very funny whenever things go, um, it flips real quick. Instant regret. Actually, some of these people are just such prideful narcissists that they don't have any um, regret. First, let's take a look at the definition of diversity. All right. The state of being diverse. Variety. The practice of the practice or quality of including or involving people from a range of different social and ethnic backgrounds. So, you know, back about 10 years ago, 15 years ago, that meant people from all walks of life, not skin color. But now, we see a lot of white people <laughs> pandering to people and instantly regretting it. There is a Twitch streamer, um, or whatever, Frost Kuner. I don't pay too much attention to Twitch. However, I am kind of thinking of, of going over there because they now have a, a platform where you can kind of talk more. I don't play games or anything, but who knows? I could learn. I could learn to play games because it's more free over there. You know what I mean. So she, she said, as always, very excited for the LEC to begin and watch my peers continue to thrive. That team is effing amazing. That said, we really need to talk about diversity in esports broadcasters because, holy shit, that is a lot of white. Just blindingly white. As far as the eye can see, white. Let's... 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 Let's check out some some of the streamers there. Hold up. Wait, Wait a minute. minute. <laughs> right. oh, that's, that's crazy, man. Our CEO champion, champion, one of the top three players, players you know, that, that you had, had to have, have your money, money on to win this tournament. tournament. Just, Just got set to lose, losers, man. <laughs> We're back here at Team Hack Montreal, and we have got something great coming up for you guys right now. Listen, man, Marvel has just been the movement, you know, all the way from the beginning of all the Marvel games that we played, all the way to box, all the way now to 2020, and now we got a reflex around the corner. You sit on the throne of lies. So, she just, this is pandering. This is how you, you move up in life, not because of the quality of your work but because you can anger people and that's kind of what mainstream media does and now we're seeing that on in random life <laughs> random life you know what i mean alternative things because they see that it works but it doesn't always work especially when you have guys that have you know they they don't feel intimidated by someone's paler skin and they have positions in power in certain, in these um, games or in these streams, whatever the case may be. Um, I can't find it now, but one of the um, top guys that streams with them replied to her and said, you know, this is very disappointing that you are saying this because, you know, he had helped her to get her position and now this is what she's doing with it. And he, he's like, I would, now I'm regretting even getting you hired. Um, there's so many replies to this because it just went extremely bad for her real fast. But she doesn't care. She does not care. She, she's uh, doubling down on it. But the fact is, this just shows how outrageous people are. The things they'll say that aren't even true. Like what this guy said. Quick shot is from South Africa. Veritas is Welsh, Medic is English, Sojik is Belgium, Ender is American, Laurie, French. That is diversity. 
That's diversity. But these people don't see that as diversity. I mean, I'm sure most of y'all can... I have a lot more in common with somebody of color that's from the South than I do from the North. Because people from the South just have the same values normally. I'm not... We're not broad brushing here. But you see what I'm saying? Like... We just are different here in the South. For the majority, we just are. And so that's the diversity thing. You know, it, it's not about your skin color. But these people want to pander and the, it just it boggles my mind how they keep their jobs. But I don't think that this is going to last much longer. I believe that they are going to have to shut this up with their nonsense because people are starting to see through it they're starting to see hold up you don't really care it's kind of like in politics like right now trending biden erased women did he well that's impossible he cannot do that however i do feel uh sympathy for young girls that are in sports because what he did with this executive order did essentially it well, what's going to happen is that guys will be able to play in sports with females and there's already been dozens of girls that have lost their scholarships their chance at their scholarships because of this because there's no way that they can compete in that it, when there's an actual male because no matter what hormones you take this is just scientific fact okay youtube scientific fact no matter how many hormones you take your xx or your xy which men have an x and a y that's not going to change into xx it's not ever so you're still going to have that and men have a higher bone density a higher lung capacity that's why like in the military women have like I don't know, two extra minutes to run the mile, what is it? It's a mile and a half in the Navy. I think it's three miles in the Army. There's a reason for that. And, you know, I absolutely, see, that, that this is reverse. If you are, you cannot support this if you're also a feminist. You can't. And see, that's where the divide is going to happen. Because they're going to start seeing, whoa, hold up. This just erased us of course you can't erase us um and i believe this is just more pandering because honestly the trans community is what 0. 0.0 something this is pandering this is pandering um but now the media and his team really have not especially the media they have nothing anymore they're still running articles about trump they have nothing they've lost everything because of alternative media that's why they want us all shut down um it sucks but you know you know that that's what's going on and so it's kind of like yeah you know they can continue lying they can continue their pandering and people are starting to see it and that's why they have to shut us down. You see, if they still had the the influence that they've always had, they wouldn't need to shut us down. They wouldn't. So that means we're winning. And this isn't a left versus right situation. You have to understand that. But YouTube don't like when we talk like that. This isn't a man versus woman thing or a trans versus cis thing. It's not. This is a them versus us thing. And that them group is really small. And they hold all the money and power for a short time. For a short time. And, you know, just like I was showing you all those guys that came back and were saying stuff, that's what you need to do. Or don't even reply to it. Don't let it bother you. Like, I mean, I would be comfortable with saying that 50% of the accounts on Twitter are bots. I would, 
I would be comf very comfortable in saying that. Twitter is a cesspool. Well, all social media really is. I very rarely even get on it. Unless somebody's like, oh, I sent you something. I mean, it's just that terrible. It, it really is. And so when you remove yourself out of that and worry about the bigger things, don't support people that say th these type of things, th they'll get it. They'll get, oh, I can't really act like that and still have people support me. And you need to support either side of it. You know, it, it's just, it's terrible. These people want to be white saviors or um, trans saviors or, or LGBTQ saviors. What they're really saying is that they, they have a problem. They are the ones that see color. They're the ones that see what someone does in their bedroom. You know, like, that's what they see. Because that's all they see. It's about narcissism. It's not about somebody that's more highly qualified and great job. You, you know, you worked your butt off. You came up from nothing from a trailer park and, and, and now you are running a whatever business. They don't like that. They do not like that. And so they have to pull all these tricks out of their hat. And it's just... That's never going to amount to anything. It's just not. And I really don't see how these crazy women still even uh, have support from anybody. I'm talking about the, like, that that girl. Well, I mean, what are these people saying? What? Does not infringe or take away from you. See, that they're just, they feed into this. They feed into it. It's so silly. However, I mean, it is something concerning. There are already um, lawsuits because of the girls that can't compete because of these situations. Lost their, you know, like I was saying, lost their college scholarships. And whatever, because they could not even, they weren't even going to be able to place. You know, I mean, a guy runs a lot faster. <laughs> like, it's just silly. Uh, it's one thing to be like, I don't even know, I'm not going to get into that. Because that's just, I've done videos about the truth about that situation and how medically it should not occur. Uh, especially with underage children. And that's the people I'm concerned about. Um, it, it, it's abuse. It's abuse if you're allowing your... Ch okay, I, I won't say anything. <laughs> that video got pulled from YouTube. <laughs> For hate speech. It's just medical fact. But, um... You know, th this is going to last for a couple of weeks. They're still going to think they can run on this nonsense but uh just don't let them it's just <laughs> and shut them down shut them down and use your money to to show them that you don't have to support them same thing with businesses and all of these things you don't have to use your money to tell them what you think all right. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Like, share, and subscribe. Oh, and the clip that I used in the beginning, that's from The Quartering. He has a great channel. You should check it out. I mean, it's kind of more like guy gaming stuff, but um, I watch him. He's funny. Anyway, y'all have a wonderful day. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys.